Pastor George, would you come up here and help me, please? I can, I, it's just, I can hear it in my ears right now. My father in the faith, Kenneth, you have to make a decision. Is it worth more as a seed or a sale? Mm. A seed. A seed? A seed. Of course. Now this, as you know, <laughs> yes, this spreadsheet, yep. and I asked him to do me a copy of it, and it's a little bit small, but it was about that big. <clears throat> now, how many of you were here this morning? Okay. And now I'll ask all of you. Did you enjoy Brother Savell's messages? Planes, fly, planes, fly, airplanes, fly, 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 boy, fly. Did you enjoy, oh, and, and Brother Savell, he showed you the picture, Falcon 50. Did you enjoy Keith Moore? He came here in their own ministry airplane. Then I was noticing uh, a few of these, these, these overseas countries where Keith flew his own Falcon there. Yeah, yeah, yes. Amen. And did you enjoy Creflo Dollar? Yeah. He flew down in the church's airplane. Did you enjoy Bill Winston? Yeah. He flew down in the church's airplane. Now, what is all of this about airplanes? They're fast. And they go places that the airlines don't go. And there's, there's several. I learned this when I became part of the flight crew at Oral Roberts University. I realized, and, and it was so obvious because his headquarters in Tulsa, Oklahoma, so the airlines just, just a hit and miss kind of a thing. He would have had to have canceled at up to 50% of what he was doing till he got that airplane. Then there's the safety factor. We get to choose our pilots. Mm -hmm. And they don't drink on the job. <laughs> now, that's a very rare thing uh, in the professional pilot community. It, I mean, it's extremely rare. It has happened a few times, but not all that much. Amen. But the big thing is the airlines don't go anywhere. They just go to the big airports and dump you off and let you, you know, ride a bus or whatever. So that's important. Now, <laughs> um, the first column is date. Second column is airplane. The third column, donated aircraft value, aircraft cash seed, recipients, all of the people, and let's see. That was the first one, 1972 Cessna 310. Jerry Savelle and I went to Birmingham pray over the television ministry and some other things. He had some needs. I did too. We did in the ministry. And, and so we got up at five o'clock in the morning to pray before the meeting that we were there to, to preach. And the word of the Lord came to me and he said, give Joe Nay your airplane. And I thought, okay, <laughs> glory to God. I'm going to do it. So we had to wait a while for Joe to get up. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Called him and he dropped the telephone in the floor. Did bang, bang. <laughs> Glory to God. Anyway, one airplane, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The cash for an airplane. And um, all of this is seed. And, and then another airplane. And uh, another airplane, another airplane, another airplane. And th that was the seed that we, we sowed to the 700 Club on that Lockheed uh, L1011 TriStar that they made a flying hospital out of. Right, right. Amen. That was an exciting thing. And then, how many did I count? 18. 18. Okay. Nine, no, that's cash. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and um, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and um, 30, 31, 32, 33. Now that's just airplanes themselves. Then there were others that we, we, we showed money into their, their aviation uh, accounts and so forth. Now, all the way back, when the ministry bought that first little red Cessna Skyline, it was too little when we got it, but I needed my foot in the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the kids were, John and Kelly were little and, and Terry was a, you know, a little bit older than that. And so I took them out to the airport to see it. Oh, it was red. <laughs> and so they, they took a good look at it and I said, would you like to go in it? Yes. So we got in it and I just flew it around a little while, you know, and came back, landed back out there at Oak Grove Airport. And, and so we got out and they, they were all kind of big eyed. And we started out the gate of the airport and John hollered, stop. Man, I said, what is it, son? You're leaving my airplane out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, this mine is his. And later on, John learned how to fly. Good, good pilot. So anyway, sitting in the gas uh, office there, waiting for my ministry's little red Skylane Cessna. And um, there was a, a, a magazine, a flying magazine right there, with a picture of a Gulf Stream on the front of it and a quickness came all over me. And I looked at that and, and I, just, I just knew someday we're gonna have one. And now we do. Praise God. Praise God. That's a good now one. here's my point. Donated airplane value, 15 million, $382,966.60. Cash into cash seed in the airplanes, $6,949,528.37. Now, put it all together, $22,000,000. $232,494.97. And it dawned on me in that board meeting, Dr. Jackson was there. It dawned on me, I looked at that, $22 million in airplanes. We bought Cessna's <coughs> Citation 10 demonstrator. It only had three, 
hundred and some odd hours on it. They wanted 19 million for that airplane. We bought that, the ministry bought that airplane for $18,300,000 and trained all of us, trained our mechanics. And I looked at that back there and during the board meeting and I said to George, George, look at this. I didn't realize it, 22 million. We paid for that citation 10 right yeah, there. Right there, yeah. Can you yeah. see it? Yeah. It's worth more as a seed. Of course, it took from 1972 on to get it. But hey, what else are you going to be doing? Yeah. Like the guy said, uh, did you go on to medical school like you said? No, 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 no. Why not? Well, I got to thinking about it. It's going to take me all those, those years. And man, are you kidding? Man, do, do you realize that I would be 40 years old if I get out of medical school. And the other fellow said, how old are you going to be if you don't go? <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Why don't you go on and go? Oh, God is so faithful. Now, whether it's an airplane or, or what, what is the need? New church building, new annex on the church, church bus, Hallelujah. You see, say, oh man, that's a lot of millions of dollars. How much would it cost to build a new church sanctuary now? Well, that airplane is my sanctuary. I learned that from Oral Roberts. My first day on the job as part of the flight crew, the first thing that Bob Dewey said to me, my captain, the first thing he said, and Bob smiled all the time, and he said, Kenna, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. I said, yes, sir. He said, don't speak to the Reverend unless he speaks to you because this airplane is his sanctuary. This airplane protects his anointing. And then there it was. I saw it right then. That's what it's about. And uh, I had a man call me, oh, 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 Kipling and Copeland. Oh, the preacher got an airplane and all that. All that, all that. I said, and he was, he was a partner. He said, I fly the airlines all the time. You do? Oh yeah, I, I, I fly them a lot, fly them a lot, fly them a lot, American Airlines, everywhere I go. <laughs> and of course this is back a long time ago. And um, I said, well, uh, tell me now, just how, how, how well financially this is working out. Well, and he went, well, if I flew here and I flew over there and I flew, and he said, well, wow, I'm telling you, I just flew here and flew there and did all that. I said, how much did it cost you? Well, he said, let's see, 25, 30, well, 30, 35,000 dollars. I said, you bought an airplane, didn't get it. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Because yeah. back in those days, I proved this when, I was in the airplane business selling small, single engine, twin engine airplanes. As slow as we were, we could go straight to the destination instead of halfway around Laura's house before you ever get to where you're going. <clears throat> well, that's enough of that. but. What is it worth? A sale or a seed? A seed never stops growing. I learned this from Spencer Nordyke sitting right there. And I still think about it. 
And this is probably the last time I'm going to give you credit for it. (laughs) Because I said it before. Is it a wheat seed? It's your choice. Or is it a grape seed? You plant wheat and you're going to have to replant every year. You plant grapes and you take care of the vine and it just keeps producing over and over and over and over and over and over. over. Is your seed (laughs) a mesquite tree or an oak? Can you see it? During the, during World War II, we had victory gardens and my mother, uh, of course she's raised on a farm, so was my dad. But my, my, my mother could grow a garden and we'd go down and get, and, and uh, I think Jerry or Jesse mentioned this, uh, where you got the package of seed and it had, right. well, Jerry was talking about the flowers, yeah. right. but the, the government would provide those seeds during the war. <clears throat> encouraging people because all, all of the, all the produce, all of the fruit, all everything was, was going to military camps all over the United States and to feed soldiers and <clears throat> sailors and, and, and all these people. They had victory gardens. Victory. And they had the little thing in there, you know, about what's on this row and what's on this row. And, it, and I'd, I'd look at, I wanted to watch those and watch them grow, watch it all come up. I particularly like the carrots. I still do. And only that back there, then I didn't bother to wash them, brother. <laughs> I, could hardly, I could hardly wait till they got, that just give them this, you know, jerk the dirt off. I'm a, and the mother, go, go wash that. What's the matter with you? I said, no, it's just dirt. <laughs> Get a picture in your mind and name the seed. Name that seed. That reminds me again, Jerry was preaching one night and I really, the the ministry really needed engine overhaul on two engines, a twin engine airplane. I really needed it. By the way, before we gave Joe Nay that airplane, when I got it home, I had both engines overhaul. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want to start with a damaged seed. Just start it off brand new. <laughs> and, uh, and Jerry was preaching. And so I named my seed engine overhaul. Called it overhaul. And then I said to the engine, you are overhauled. I spoke to the engine itself. Went out to the airport and spoke to the, it was uh, in this, let's see it. Well, no, in this case, it was singling. I went out there and talked to the engine. It needed to know it was about to be overhauled. Amen. Just get yourself ready because you're overhauled. Amen. What am I doing? Calling things that be not as though they were. You're overhauled. You're already overhauled because my seed is in the ground. You are overhauled now. Amen. And it was amazing. I mean, it was something like three, four days. I named my seed. So what is your seed? A church bus, two church buses. What is your seed? Overhaul of all the church furniture. What is your seed? A new car, new house. And hey, it may be an airplane. Do I really need an airplane? I don't know. You don't have to need it. Do you want it? Oh, brother Copeland, not the walls. Well, he's my shepherd. I do not want. That's right. The 22nd, we'll see tonight. The 22nd Psalm is Jesus on the cross. The 23rd Psalm is the resurrected Christ. He is our shepherd. We're living in the 23rd Psalm right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
Can I read a scripture? Please do. Or two. Yes. Uh, first of all, as you were talking about the seed, I thought about Genesis one and God said, behold, I've given you every oh, herb yeah. bearing seed, oh, yeah. which is upon every, every, every need that there is, there's a seed, there's a seed cover. for it. It's seed covers it, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the, which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you. It shall be for meat or your seed is your provision. Yes, yes. And then I thought about this as you were talking. Now he that ministers seed yes. to the sower, <laughs> to the sower. <laughs> both minister bread for your food and multiplies your seed sown and increases the fruits of your righteousness. And I noticed there, it said seed to the sower. Yes. So you have to be a sower to qualify. And notice this, it was seed to the sower before it was bread to the eater. Yes. Yeah. Didn't say bread to the hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Now there are people that read that mistakenly. Well, she provides bread for the hungry. That's not what he said. Mm -hmm. How many eaters are in here? <laughs> bread for the eater. But the seed was first. It came first. You have to have the seed to sow. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you thank tonight. You. Thank you. Thank you. Your word is just so magnificent. We're a blessed people. Thank you, Jesus. All oh, the blessing of the yeah. Lord. Oh yes. Thank you, Thank you Lord, for reminding me of that yes. Proverbs 10, the blessing of the Lord, it, George, it the blessing, rich. Yeah. it maketh rich and he adds no sorrow yeah. with it or it adds no toiling <clears throat> yeah. with it. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I'm a self-made man. Well, that's probably the problem. <laughs> Amen. Glory and it doesn't God. matter what the economic condition is. No. Isaac sowed in famine. in famine and reaped the hundredfold. Yes, he did. So we can sow seed no matter what's going on, name it, and then see the fruit, the multiplication of it. And, I, and, and, and of course, you can join a very elite club of the name it, claim it, blab it, <laughs> grab it group. <laughs> and I am one of the founding members. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> no, they, 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 they started calling that Brother Hagen. But then, and then they, they, then they said, well, you know, it's Copeland Hagen. Sounds like snuff, doesn't it? <laughs> no, we're part of the name it, claim it, reap it. Yes. That's who we are. Well, and George, hey, we named it, claimed it, blabbed it, grabbed it, and we have it. We do have it. <laughs> We're the one with the airplane. Yeah. Zuh. Yeah. Yeah. Airplane, za. Za. <laughs> yep. We have two small piston engine airplanes for a reason. And um, Mike Barber and that outstanding prison ministry. Yeah. Well, I mean, Mike, where the, those prisons are located in places where there are not any airlines on purpose. Amen. So we get in that freshly engine overhaul, a freshly painted yeah. 421C, yeah. amen that we got from Keith Moore. <laughs> Glory to God. And Mike can get in there. It's a pressurized airplane. It's quiet and he can get in there and study. And how about it, Mike? And it takes a big airplane from Mike anyway. I mean, <laughs> he used to go in one of the bonanzas I had and he had to scoot the right seat all the way back just to get in it. Stand up, Mike Barber. 
Glory to God. So we can just, one of the guys can just fly down to Houston, pick up Mike and probably his son, whomever else he needs to go. And we get in that 421 and go into those little, little small airports right close to those prisons instead of getting to get in his truck and drive for hours and hours and hours. So much better. It's so much better. Wow. These are tools of the kingdom. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Here's what we'll do. Want to take a moment and just pray. What are you believing for? What is it that you need? What is it? What is it at the top of the list? that you need to name this seed about. Let's go before the Lord right now and just take a few moments. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you of what we've learned right here in these few minutes about naming our seed. And I thank you, Lord, that as we go before you, show us, reveal to us what to name that seed, how to name that seed. And Lord, as we sow tonight here and all over the world, I thank you for harvest. Mm -hmm. for harvest. We not only sow the seed, but we reap the harvest. And just like Brother Copeland was talking about the victory garden, we put a picture of that name, of, of what that is, nail it to a stake and stick it in the ground. And that is what is going to come up. We believe it. We receive it. We take it and we have it in Jesus name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen.